Hey, I got big racks on my head. I got big racks on my head now. I got big racks on my head. I got big racks on my head now. I got big racks, I got big racks, I got, I got big racks. I'm just Malcolm, man. Just Malcolm? Who the fuck is Malcolm? Show me. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey, don't look at them. It's between you and me. Being in the movie Dope, that just had happened, you know. I ain't never think about being an actor. I ain't even know I could act, so. Uh, that just came from the relationship with me and Pharrell. He was working on the movie Dope. He was like, yo, this character right here, you would kill it, dog." Cause they wanted, I played like a, a gangster, you know, like a gangster Hispanic character. And they wanted like a, a cholo, you know what I mean? Bald headed, you know, bandana tattoos, you know, but. For real, like, this a, is this a new generation, you know what I mean? That's the old generation, like, we need to switch it up. So I tried out for it, I got it, and shit, it's been history since then. I'm trying to do some more though, get that movie checked. A lot of people find out about my music from that. They ain't even know I rap or nothing. I think that I'm done with your girlfriend. I just smoked a blunt with your girlfriend. Man, that shit was surreal for me, you know what I mean? Like. I knew it was gonna be a big record, but dog, when I seen people like all the females jamming a girlfriend, like I was like, damn, they really love that shit. They be on their Snapchat, all that. First, I gotta go in there and I gotta hear the beat. Cause I hate having a beat that I don't really fuck with cause it make it harder for me. But when it's the beat that I really like, I pick the beat and I really just go in the booth and I do it all in there, whatever I feel. Even now, like I got so much success, but it's like, I gotta be in the studio every single day and I gotta at least spend more than seven hours in there cause if, if I'm not in there, I feel like, shoot, there's somebody else trying to take my lunch, you know what I mean? Uh, I say recently, this probably like a month ago, I'm with uh, Jim Jones in the studio, but uh, my partner Tripp, he brought him in there, I had just pulled up, you know, I don't even think John, Jim Jones ever heard of me or nothing, but like, you know, I, I, I went in there, uh, my partner said, go on, lay a hook down. I laid the hook down. Jim Jones just started fucking with it. Then some people walked in. That they didn't know I was going to be in there. They asked for pictures. So, like, bro just kind of seen that, like, oh, like, bro, he he really, he up there. Like, he putting work in and he hard, too. Then I did a whole nother hook. I did a two songs. Then he like, what's that right there? I'm like, shit, it's right there. Hop on it. So that was surreal for me, cause me growing up, you know what I mean? I, I grew up listening to Dipset. Then them was the ones who had that flavor too. You know, I love dressing clean. So like, that shit was crazy right there. Right now, I'm working on, I'm about to put out three songs at the end of this month. I got something with Lil Uzi dropping in Gunna. Um, I got another one dropping with my artist Wes and Another song dropping two, three songs. So I'm dropping the EP, it's called Mood. Then I'm dropping a tape, a free mixtape, free music. Just like with features that I done did with people, just a, ho a whole lot of songs that I know ain't gonna come out if, if I only put out my album. And then after that, I wanna put out my album beginning of the year around January, February. So y'all can look out for a lot of music. I actually met Uzi when he first moved down here, so like, we never did a song though, we was never really like, it was never like, me and him, that's just my homie, I ain't never like, boom, come on, we need to go do a song, we just always, we work in the same studio, so we always just see each other working every day. So like, that was la this year, this year, so like, when we finally did it, it was just honestly easy, like, heat, heat. <laughs> every project I do, I put my blood, sweat, and tears in it, so like, I be in there really working, so once I'm done with it, and then it's, it actually come out, I'm like, that's what's up, it's time. And right now, my favorite one is called Rings, from Super Hefe. I, I just like to work with people who rock with me and who got a dope work ethic, and if they dope, you know what I mean? I don't really be tripping off the collabs, though. Yeah. Some of my goals is to start my own label, you know, push, a lot of my artists that I have slash my homies who really, you know what I'm saying? They really just my homies, but I feel like, shit, it's time for them to go too. They got, I got some dope people around me then. On top of that, I wanna do some old movies. 
um, and just take over. Shit, I'm trying to be top five in the game. You know what I mean? That's quick. I just got back from LA. LA. Might just go back to the bay. The bay. Forever my heart in the air. LA. Free my bro locked in the cage. I tell my fans that I appreciate them for listening to my music and shit. Whatever you want to do, if I inspire you to rap, you can be a rapper. It ain't everything ain't easy. Whatever you want to do, dog, do it. You know what I mean? Just to sum it all up, I want to be remembered for shit. Just being one of the greatest, somebody who was just real, authentic, never switched it up. You know what I mean? Just somebody who people can look up to, whether you young. You older shit, just let people know shit. I'm I'm a product of my environment, you can do it too. Yeah, Cap G, you already know, man. Shout out my mixtapes, you already know I'm fucking with them strong way, that way. Yeah.